Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into the first part of our new series, Top Trending Open Source GitHub Projects This Week. Part 1. We've scoured the vast landscape of open source development to bring you some of the most innovative and exciting projects that are making waves right now. Get ready to explore cutting-edge AI tools, mind-bending games, and powerful development platforms that you can start using today. Let's jump right in. Project number 1 Vision Agent AI-powered code generation for computer vision tasks. Today, we're diving into an exciting project called Vision Agent. This isn't just another AI tool, it's a library designed to help you use agent frameworks to generate code for tackling vision-related tasks. What makes Vision Agent truly unique is its ability to automatically generate code. Imagine needing to count objects in an image or track people in a video. Instead of writing all that code from scratch, Vision Agent can do it for you. It leverages powerful agent frameworks, taking your high-level instructions and turning them into functional code. The library provides tools for object detection, image visualization, and even video analysis. For example, you can use Vision Agent to count the number of people in an image, or you can detect objects and visualize bounding boxes, or even track objects in video. Vision Agent uses the model's Anthropic Claude 3.5 and OpenAI 01 to provide the best performance. Although it can work with other LLMs, those two have shown the best results. The project is also very active, with constant updates and changes. There's a Discord channel for support if you get stuck. The library is easy to install via pip install Vision Agent. You will also need Need to export your API keys for either or both Anthropic and OpenAI. Vision Agent is open source, licensed under Apache 2.0, and has a strong community with over 2.7k stars and 301 forks on GitHub. Vision Agent is written entirely in Python. So, whether you're a seasoned developer or just starting out with AI, Vision Agent provides a powerful and user-friendly approach to vision tasks through AI-generated code. Project number 2, PotPie. Custom AI Agents for Your Codebase We're exploring another exciting project called PotPie. PotPie is an open-source platform designed to create custom AI agents that are specialized for your codebase. It's not just another AI tool, it's a comprehensive platform that automates code analysis, testing, and development tasks. What makes PotPie unique is its ability to build a comprehensive knowledge graph of your code, allowing its AI agents to understand complex relationships and assist with a variety of tasks. Popeye offers pre-built agents for common tasks and also allows users to build custom agents. The pre-built agents include capabilities such as debugging, code Q&A, code change analysis, integration testing, unit testing, low-level design, and code generation. This means that PotPie can help with everything from finding bugs and answering questions about the code to generating new features and improvements. PotPie's agents can be accessed through an API key, which enables integration into CI slash CD workflows and other automated processes. The platform provides a set of tools that agents use to interact with the knowledge graph and underlying infrastructure. These tools include functionalities to retrieve code snippets, execute vector similarity searches, and detect code changes. The platform also offers a VS Code extension that allows direct access to the agents within the development environment. PopPy is designed to be flexible and customizable, allowing users to modify prompts, add new agents, customize agent behavior, and integrate additional tools. PopPy is primarily written in Python, so, whether you're working in a small team or a large enterprise, PopPy offers a powerful and flexible approach to automating and optimizing software development tasks. Project number 3, Data Formulator, AI-powered data visualization. Let's, we're diving into another exciting project called Data Formulator. This application, from Microsoft Research, isn't just another data visualization tool. It's an AI-powered platform designed to expedite the process of creating rich data visualizations. What makes Data Formulator truly unique is its blended approach that combines both user interface interactions, UI, and natural language NL, inputs. This means you can interact with the tool by dragging and dropping data fields to specify visual encodings, and also use natural language prompts to clarify your intent. This makes it easier to describe chart designs while the AI takes care of data transformation. Data Formulator allows you to create visualizations that require computation or transformation from existing data. For example, you can type in the name of fields that don't exist in the current dataset and the AI will transform the data to create the required visualization. Data Formulator supports various models including OpenAI, Azure, Alima, and Anthropic, 
and it recommends using models with strong code generation and instruction following capabilities, like GPT-40 and Claude 3-5 Sonnet. You can store your API keys in the API keys.env file to avoid typing them every time. Data Formulator also lets you load an image or messy text and ask AI to parse and clean it. You can iteratively create visualizations and track your explorations in the data threads panel. The platform is also very active, with constant updates and new features. It offers several options to get started. You can install it via Python PIP, use Codespaces, or work in developer mode if you need more control. It's primarily written in TypeScript and Python. So, whether you're an analyst or a researcher, Data Formulator provides a powerful and intuitive approach to creating and exploring data visualizations. Project number 4, FastGPT, a knowledge-based platform for LLMs. We're exploring an impressive project called FastGPT. FastGPT is a knowledge-based platform built on large language models, LLMs, designed to help you develop and deploy complex question-answering systems with ease. What makes FastGPT unique is its comprehensive suite of out-of-the-box capabilities, including data processing, RAG retrieval, and visual AI workflow orchestration. This means you can handle everything from processing your data, to retrieving relevant information and orchestrating complex workflows, all within one platform. FastGPT lets you build question-answering systems without the need for extensive setup or configuration. It offers a visual flow editor that allows you to easily create and manage workflows for your applications. FastGPT also offers robust knowledge management capabilities, supporting various Various file formats such as TXT, MD, HTML, PDF, Docs, PPTX, CSV, and XLSX for data import, and it can also read data from URLs. FastGPT supports multiple languages including English, Simplified Chinese, and Japanese. It also provides features such as completions interfaces aligned with GPT, knowledge base CRUD operations and chat CRUD functionalities. FastGPT also offers features like no login sharing, if-frame embedding, and a customizable chat window. The platform is built using Next.js, TS, Chakra UI, MongoDB, and PostgreSQL slash Milvis. It can be deployed using Celos, which provides high concurrency and dynamic scaling. To get started with FastGPT, you can check out their online demo at tryfastgpt.ai. The project is licensed under the FastGPT open source license, which allows commercial use as a back-end service, but requires you to retain copyright information for any commercial service. So, whether you're looking to build a simple chatbot or a complex question-answering system, FastGPT provides a powerful and flexible approach. Project number 5, Diffy an open-source LLM app development platform. We're exploring another exciting project called Diffy. Diffy is an open-source LLM app development platform designed to streamline the process of building and deploying AI applications. What makes Diffy unique is its intuitive interface combined with a powerful suite of features that take you from prototype to production quickly. Diffy integrates AI workflows, RAG pipelines, agent capabilities, model management, and observability features, all in one platform. This makes Diffy a comprehensive solution for developing a wide range of AI applications. Diffy's Visual Canvas allows you to build and test AI workflows, integrating seamlessly with numerous proprietary and open-source large language models from various providers. Diffy supports models such as GPT, Mistral, and Llama 3, as well as any OpenAI API-compatible models. Diffy's Prompt IDE offers an intuitive interface for crafting prompts, comparing model performance, and adding features such as text-to-speech. Diffy has extensive RAG capabilities that include document ingestion and retrieval, with support for text extraction from PDFs, PPTs, and other common document formats. You can define agents based on LLM function calling or React, with 50-plus built-in tools for AI agents, including Google Search, DALI, and Wolfram Alpha. Diffy also offers LLM Ops features to monitor and analyze application logs and performance over time, enabling continuous improvement of prompts, datasets, and models. All of Diffy's offerings come with corresponding APIs, allowing you to easily integrate Diffy into your own business logic. Diffy provides a cloud service, as well as options for self-hosting and enterprise solutions. You can use Diffy Cloud with a sandbox plan, including 200 free GPT-4 calls. It can be deployed using Docker, and also offers advanced setup options such as Helm Charts and Terraform for cloud deployment on Kubernetes, Azure, and Google Cloud. 
Project number 6, Burl, a flexible and efficient RL training library for LLMs. We're diving into another exciting project called Burl, Volcano Engine Reinforcement Learning for LLM. Burl is a flexible, efficient, and production-ready RL training library specifically designed for large language models or LLMs. What makes Burl unique is its focus on combining flexibility with high performance to make RL training more accessible and scalable. Burl is the open-source version of the hybrid full framework. Burl stands out with its easy extension of diverse RL algorithms, leveraging a hybrid programming model that blends single and multi-controller paradigms. This allows users to construct complex RL data flows in just a few lines of code. The library also enables seamless integration with existing LLM infrastructures, thanks to its modular APIs, meaning it can be used with popular frameworks such as PyTorch FSDP, Megatron LM, and VLLM. Users can easily extend Verl to other LLM training and inference frameworks. Verl supports flexible device mapping, which lets you place models onto various sets of GPUs, optimizing resource utilization across different cluster sizes. It also integrates with popular hugging face models. Verl achieves state-of-the-art throughput by integrating with existing state-of-the-art LLM training and inference frameworks. It features efficient actor model resharding with 3D hybrid engine, which significantly reduces as communication overhead during transitions between training and generation phases. Verl offers support for supervised fine-tuning and reinforcement learning from human feedback with PPO, GRPO, and Remax. It supports model-based and function-based rewards, also known as verifiable rewards. The platform is designed to scale up to 70B models across hundreds of GPUs. Verl also provides experiment tracking with WAND, SwanLab, and Moflow. Project number 7, Drant, a high-performance vector database and search engine. Let's, we're exploring another amazing project called Drant. Drant is a high-performance, massive-scale vector database and vector search engine designed for the next generation of AI applications. What makes Drant unique is its ability to provide a production-ready service with a convenient API to store, search, and manage vectors along with additional payloads. Drant is tailored for extended filtering support, making it useful for various applications, including neural network-based matching, semantic search, and faceted search. Drant is written in Rust, which makes it incredibly fast and reliable, even under high loads. It allows you to turn embeddings or neural network encoders into full-fledged applications for matching, searching, recommending, and much more. It is available as a fully managed cloud service with a free tier. Drant supports a variety of client libraries, including Python, Go, Rust, JavaScript slash TypeScript, .NET slash C Sharp, and Java, which helps to integrate it into your existing application stack. The platform offers several demos, including semantic text search, similar image search, and e-commerce product categorization, which highlight its diverse capabilities. Drant offers a REST API with OpenAPI 3.0 documentation, making it easy to generate a client for any framework or language. It also provides a gRPC interface for faster production tier searches. Drant allows you to attach JSON payloads to vectors for storage and filtering, with support for various data types and query conditions. It supports hybrid search with sparse vectors, which enhances keyword searching beyond simple embeddings. Furthermore, Drant provides vector quantization to reduce RAM usage and support supports horizontal scaling for distributed deployments. It also leverages SIMD hardware acceleration and asynchronous I.O. for better performance and uses write-ahead logging for data persistence. Project number 8, NoCoDB, the open-source Airtable alternative. We're diving into a fantastic project called NoCoDB, which is an open-source Airtable alternative. What makes NoCoDB unique is its mission to provide a powerful no-code interface for databases, aiming to make database interactions as easy and collaborative as using a spreadsheet. NoCoDB allows users to build databases online quickly and easily, bridging the gap between spreadsheets and more complex database systems. NoCoDB offers a rich spreadsheet interface Face that supports basic operations like creating, reading, updating, and deleting tables, columns, and rows. It includes features such as sorting, filtering, grouping, and hiding slash unhiding columns. The platform provides multiple view types, including grid, gallery, form, Kanban, and calendar views. NoCoDB allows for collaborative and locked views, which enable various levels of access control. It also allows users to share bases and views, publicly or privately, with password protection. The platform offers diverse cell types, such as ID, links, lookup, rollup, single-line text, attachment, currency, formula, 
and user. Access control is also available, with fine-grained control at different levels. NelcoDB also features an app store for workflow automations, with integrations in chat, Slack, Discord, Mattermost, email, AWS Seas, SMTP, MailerSend, and storage, AWS S3, Google Cloud Storage, Minio. The project also offers programmatic access via REST APIs and a NelcoDB SDK with authorization possible through tokens. NelcoDB can be installed using various methods, including Docker, Nix, and AutoUpstall, which automatically sets up NelcoDB with PostgreSQL, Redis, Minio, and Traffic Gateway using Docker Compose. NelcoDB is licensed under the AGPLv3 license, Project number 9, Small Doge, the Doge family of small language models. We're exploring a fascinating project called Small Doge, which is a Doge family of small language models. What makes Small Doge unique is its aim to train a series of dynamic and fast small models from scratch, with incredibly fast training times, as low as only 3 hours. You can even train a tiny language model, the Doge 20M, in just 13 minutes. The Small Doge series is extremely lightweight, with the smallest version being about January 7800th the size of GPT-3, striving to make fast inference and even training possible on even the most basic personal GPUs. The project provides full-stage code for various processes, including dataset pre-processing, pre-training, supervised fine-tuning, reinforcement learning preference alignment, and visual multimodal VLM, which is still under development. The models use a dynamic mask attention architecture for sequence transformation, which uses self-attention related to value states during training, and state space without past state decay during inference. The models also use a cross-domain mixture of experts for state transformation, allowing for the addition of sparse parameters without retraining the entire model, reducing iteration costs. The project also incorporates RMS norm and residual with learnable parameters to adapt the gradient range of deep models. The Small Doge series has completed the pre-training of two models, with a minimum of 20M parameters that have smooth conversation capabilities. The project emphasizes using open-source tools and frameworks to simplify the process from data processing to model training, making it accessible for beginners. The project is still under construction, and the developers encourage contributions through issues or PRs. The team also welcomes the sharing of new model weights, training recipes, evaluation results, and other information. The project is licensed under the Apache 2.0 license. Project number 10, 5D Diplomacy with Multiverse Time Travel, a mind-bending strategy game. We're diving into another incredibly unique project called 5D Diplomacy with Multiverse Time Travel, which takes the classic game of negotiation and twists it into a mind-bending experience. What makes this project truly stand out is its combination of the strategic depth of the board game diplomacy with the temporal complexities of 5D chess. It's a game where you must not only convince your opponents to support your present actions but also manipulate events in the past and across multiple timelines to achieve your goals. This project isn't just a game, it's a new standard in measuring how galaxy-brained you are. 5D Diplomacy extends the rules of regular diplomacy by adding multiple timelines each with its own set of boards progressing through the standard diplomacy turns. You can move units not only on the current board but also across timelines and to past boards. The game offers two adjacency settings, strict, where movement is limited to adjacent regions, the same region on adjacent timelines or one board in the past, and loose, which allows movement to adjacent regions on the same board, adjacent timelines, or one board in the past or any region next to that region. Convoys can extend unit movement across the board and through time. The game also features a unique adjudication system where orders are resolved together across the entire world, meaning that new orders can affect the resolution of previous actions. If a new resolution doesn't match an existing board spawned from a specific board, a new timeline is created. Victory is achieved by being the only player to control at least 18 unique supply centers across all active boards or by having the clear majority. The game supports both normal games, where multiple players enter orders, and sandbox games, where a single user controls all units. It also allows for modifications using custom maps. 5D Diplomacy is available for installation via Docker or manual setup. And that wraps up part 1 of our look at this week's trending open-source GitHub projects. We hope you found these projects as fascinating as we do. Don't forget to check out the links in the description below to explore each of these amazing projects further. Which project are you most excited about? Let us know in the comments. Make sure you like and subscribe so you don't miss the next part in this series. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.